and gentlemen, welcome to bout number six on the card. This fight brought to you by Suburban Pest and Weed Control. This fight will be three by two minute rounds. K1 rules in the super lightweight division. Your referee in charge of this contest, Mr. Mark Cook. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Ben the Blaster Helmet and out of Blaster Kickboxing. Wearing the black top king shorts with gold. An official weight, 66.5 kilograms. Fighting out of country Victoria in Albury, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Harris! And across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Justin Eyre, out of Marshall Mix, wearing black shorts with red, an official weight, 66.7 kilograms. He represents Parkdale, ladies and gentlemen, Tom McLaughlin! My father sent her in for referee's instruction. Here we go, Hammer. We're at the halfway mark of tonight's proceedings. Proudly brought to you by Johnny Sheeter and Ultimate Promotions. We hope you're enjoying Martial Law Number no. Two. We're coming to you live at the West End Hotel in Sunshine. This bout, once again, kickboxing rules. Ryan Harris, trained by Ben the Blaster Hamilton, Red taking one. on. Thomas McLaughlin, trained by Justin Eyre. So, Thomas in the longer black shorts. Once again, orthodox fighter versus Southpaw. Yeah, Ryan in the black and gold Muay Thai shorts. Ryan Harris, out of the blue corner. Left-handed, Southpaw fighter. Boy from Marshall Mix. Thomas McLaughlin. Yeah, very well put together. Looks Coming like up. he's done a few hours uh, with the weights in the gym, Tom mm. McLaughlin. Been well prepared by Justin Eyre. Good straight right hand right through the guard of R Ryan Harris. He's adapted well to the uh, to the southpaw as well. He's stepping left and throwing right McLaughlin, which is exactly what he wants to do. Did you fight many southpaws in your career, Hammer? Uh, in the ties, I believe. You mm. remember? So McLaughlin once again on the front foot here. Again, that's that's exactly where he wants to be slinging that leg. McLaughlin going for that inside thigh. Barrels in with the straight punches into the knee. Yes, it unloads on uh, Ryan just above our commentary position here. So this one actually K1 rules. So single knees allowed as uh, McLaughlin lets go. Another beautiful straight right hand. Now Harris fights back. Ooh. Oh, and uh, that normally happens when you've got <laughs> oh, a south corner orthodox fighter. Of course, he's sling low for the inside thigh, and if they step forward, doesn't hit the inside thigh. Hit somewhere else. So, deep breaths from Ryan Harris just above us here in the neutral corner. Look, gives a nod to referee Mark Cook, saying that he's good to go. Tidy hands from Tom McLaughlin. Looks that straight right hand once again, but Harris now just trying. Oh, oh, Superman punch! Gotta love the Superman punch, Does. Hammer. <laughs> Ties in me. You're <laughs> gonna fight that. Th he's under K1 rules. Yes. Could have been my tie. They look like they both know how to clinch it, knee. So, good round, good first up round. Yeah, good work rate from both fighters, keeping yeah. nice and busy. McLaughlin started hard, hard and uh, Harris rallied back nicely. Round number two. Round number two, big thanks to Suburban Pest and Weed for getting behind bout number six. Oh. Tom McLaughlin almost puts Ryan Harris through the ropes. Actually, he does as uh, Ryan just <laughs> climbs back in. Double round kick off the right leg. And that's exactly what he wants to be throwing McLaughlin. He needs to throw that right leg, right hand. Right 
kick off the left leg from Harris. Oh, once again, good strength from Tom McLaughlin. Now really working away at that lead leg of Ryan Harris. Harris <laughs> tries, that's an unusual defence there. You, can, you couldn't call that checking the kicks. At the it's even better than checking the kick, you just make a miss. Jumping over him. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like, it. I like his anticipation. Yeah, unusual, but I have to say, Hammer, effective. Effective as. <laughs> he still goes forward looking at the, the two of them in this fight. Just have a look at a Harris. You'd think he drank a couple of Red Bulls in between the first and second round. He steps across and chops out the supporting leg. There's McLaughlin. Uh, good old Ryan, uh, Ryan Harris giving it a fair shake up. But yeah, so Ryan just won it. Even though they're on par with weight, there's just, it just he looks so much bigger. Tommy McLaughlin doesn't he? He's solid. Yeah, through the body. But, uh, Ryan Harris, it looks a little bit lighter on porch. Yeah, and picks himself up again once off, off the canvas. Oh, uh, McLaughlin now clocks him with the right hook. Going right in for the kill. Almost a count there, I'd say. But, uh, oh, that's a big right hand. Saved by the bell, Ryan Harris. Absolutely oh. bombarding. Ryan Harris is Tommy McLaughlin. Yeah, big strong finish there to the second round from Tom McLaughlin. He really softened him up with those low click kicks and then just went to work with a strong right hand. Both fighters touch gloves. This is the third and final round. So here we go. Final round. Tom McLaughlin, really strong finish in that second round. Brave boy, Ryan Harris, trying to give it a big shake up. Once again, uppercut right hook from uh, McLaughlin. Good, tidy handiwork. Just needs to, to get his timing a little more right. Nice push kick, beautifully done from Harris. With that McLaughlin straight back. Forward pressure, covers, looks for the counter. Picks out the supporting leg again. Really, if you were Ryan Harris Hammer, that's probably about the fifth or sixth time now that uh, he's just almost put him on the canvas with that low kick. He's really got to take all the weight off that left leg. Yeah, it's Try and be very light. He's given it a fair crack, though. I've got to say, oh, Ryan Harris is uh, he is strong. He's a brave boy. He's, uh, oh, he's he, wore some, he wore some solid shots in the second round. He's come, he comes back strong, you know. He's, uh, he's showing a lot of heart, as you'd expect, uh, training with Benny Hamilton. Yeah, absolutely. He's one of the blaster crew, trained by Benny Hamilton. But, uh, at this point, forward pressure again from McLaughlin. Well, 30 yeah. seconds of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan just hanging on now to... So McLaughlin comes forward again. Precious seconds. He's going to finish strong. Look for the clinch. Yes, nice. Nice knee from uh, Ryan. Oh, Bobbing overhand left. Oh, look at the fight back oh, here. Oh, look at Harris. He's bombing his way into the through the last round. Oh, I didn't think he had energy left, but uh, look at that. He's all heart. Just throwing him from the rafters. And again, what a fight, yeah. mate. What a fight. <laughs> Tommy McLaughlin, what? Ryan Harris. What Ryan a, Harris. What a smash. Ryan Harris. Tommy McLaughlin. Could I please have a representative from suburban testing weed control the sharing, please? Tell you what, you've got to give it up to uh, Ryan Harris for being hard as nails. He had awesome, solid shots and came back throwing them. Harris, fantastic work for him. Tommy McLaughlin is strong and a uh, good prospect out of the Marshall Mix crew. So uh, two, two great up and comers for sure. Another great, uh, exciting matchup, Ultimate Promotions. Johnny, Johnny Skeeter, also Joey DiMicoli. The A team have done it again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. 
We have a split points decision. Your first judge scored the contest 20, 29 28 to the blue corner. Your second judge scored the contest 29 28 to the red corner. Your third and final judge scored the contest 29 28, declaring your winner via split points decision. Red corner, the after party, Thomas McLaughlin. Well, there you go, hammer a split points decision at the end of the day. Big thank you once again to Suburban Pest and Weed. Congratulations, Tom McLaughlin and Ryan Harris, all heart and courage. We hope to see him back again to fight another day.